Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube video channel. Today is a quick video on the onlay veneer or three quarter crown for tube number 18 uh, Sicornium material. How are we gonna cement this one, deliver this one in the back tube of the patient mouth? As you can see the prep, uh, and as you can see the restoration, there's indication of the lab that we need to adjust a potion tube. Uh, lingo side of the view, there's no prep on the lingo side. And this is the buckle um, view of how much room we have for this material to go into this tube. Uh, the reason that we don't prep the whole crown is because this tube have short clinical crown and we just want to make sure that the less uh, prep, the better for a patient for um, sensitivity and conservative approach. This is a distal view that you can see. And uh, just a quick discussion how we go about to cement this crown uh, or this quarter crown or this veneer or however you're going to call. Um, so basically it's on just on a buckle and a glue so only there's no material on the lingo side. And this is how my prep, I get some retention. Uh, <clears throat> with crew and um, making sure that uh, enough space uh, for the material to um, stay on. And so um, the key thing of this cementation process is making sure that you have the an anesthesia, you have to numb the patient. Patient can be very sensitive unless this is the uh, non-vital tube, but this is a vital tube. So one of the reasons that I do this um, is because of the conservative uh, prep, so allow less sensitivity for a patient. We need bonding, we need acid bonding, and we use GCAM linkage uh, bonding material, and we cure the tube um, and remove accessory material each um, step of the way and check the body, and um, this is how you prevent sensitivity after uh, the cementation. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.